Hi, Jason Yabama, Chief from Create PT Wealth. This is a, another important business tip if you're running a fitness business. Now, I think you're gonna be shocked by what you hear today, and uh, for some people, it's not obvious. This is a topic that's come up quite a bit lately. Uh, we've educated over 6,500 personal trainers, and so, uh, yeah, we get to see that, um, so many different personal training businesses uh, come through our, um, I guess, our seminars, our coaching, our mentoring, and there's, there's a common theme that stands out with anybody who's I guess really uneducated in business, but having a crack. Um, and what I want to look at um, at this particular business tip is the idea of discounting. Now, there, there's research studies and facts out there, and you don't have to look too hard to discover these stats. And it, did you know that even a 1% discount off your normal price um, means an 8% decrease in your profit? Now, I know a lot of trainers that are doing a lot more than a 1% discount. So hang in there and let's see what, how that really affects a business overall. Um, We've basically lost, I've lost count of the number of trainers we've helped to increase their profits simply by stopping this one activity. So if you ever wondered about how do I increase my, my profits by two, three, four, five hundred dollars per week, you don't necessarily have to work harder, you just have to work smarter and be a little bit more strategic with what you're currently doing. And it's really having a good understanding about business in the first, first instance and know why you're making these business decisions. Really, when we look at it, your time is your time. And if you're a solo, independent trainer, or even if you've got um, trainers working for you, the one thing you, you, you are doing is you're doing a service business. So it means your, your time has to be exchanged for income. Now, let's have a look at what I mean by that. Here's an example if you're discounting currently. So let's just say hypothetically that a trainer is charging $60 per session. That's their normal rate. I know you might be charging more, you might be charging less, doesn't matter. Uh, in this example, we're going to look at the idea, and this is very common, and I reckon in the last week alone, I've spoken to about 15 trainers who are all doing this. Um, and so what they were doing is um, discounting someone did more than one session, so two or more sessions. Uh, what they were doing um, in each case was different, but normally it was around about that classic $10 off. So I was going to pay you $60 per session, I was going to do two sessions, um, but now you're telling me that if I do two sessions, it's going to be $50. So initially I'm saving $20 and hey, that's great for the potential client, but not so great for the bottom line of the business. Now, if you have at least 10 clients doing two sessions per week, you are now effectively losing $200 per week from your business. That's right, $200, that's a huge amount. For some people, it's their rent, it's a, a good portion of their mortgage per week. You really are sacrificing. So. Would you want to turn to a job week in, week out where the boss says, hey, by the way, um, you know, we're going to give you a $200 a week pay decrease. We wouldn't want to hang around too long. So this is what amazes me where people get in a business and I understand they don't know better, but you got to look at it from that point of view. You're actually giving yourself a pay cut. Um, you, get, you get in a business to, to make more money um, and have a lifestyle, not actually work, earn less working harder. Um, but wait for it. If you're actually worked it out of the course for a year, it's, it works out to be almost 10 it's just over ten thousand dollars. It's ten thousand four hundred dollars per year over fifty-two weeks. Now, if you're sitting there going, "Oh my God, that's exactly what I'm doing," I wonder why I'm not making the money that I possibly could. Well, here's one of the first avenues. Is, you know, basically stop doing it. Stop discounting. Your time is your time, and you need to stop and think. So, firstly, I say to people, well, what, "Why are you discounting in the first place? What? What? Why? How did you come up with that model?" And normally the, biz, the answers that I get are not business related at all. They go, oh, I don't know, I just felt like, you know, I want to reward people if they were doing it. So there's no business logic at all. Normally what happens is that, you know, the, the trainer is actually offering the discount to the client before they've even found out if that's going to be a problem or not. So of course the client's not going to disagree. They're going to say, no, hang on, mate, I'd rather pay you the $60 for both the session for what you're worth for your time. They're going to go, happy days, I wasn't expecting that. So, you know, um, Mostly the decision, like when I get down to the bottom cause of it, is that it's made out of fear. So, you know, if someone, some, they'll say, oh, I'm doing it so I can, you know, reward them for doing two sessions. But when you look at the equation now, you're giving away a spot where you could be earning $10. It doesn't sound that much over one session, but look, when you add it up, it's costing you big money. And the other thing is, if someone's prepared to pay $60, you know, to do a couple of sessions, they want to do a couple of sessions, really another 20 bucks, if they see the value and you've done good in that, a good job in that area, then you know, they're gonna find they're gonna find the money to pay the extra money. So stop undercutting yourself. The, the big point there is stop assuming or thinking for other people. Stop assuming that someone's gonna to wanna to have a discount because um, they're doing two sessions. 
Let them tell you, first and foremost, if that's what they're after. I can guarantee you that all my years of being in business, when you do a good job of the sales process, adding value, people can see the value, they know that the money they're paying to get the results they want is a, is a good exchange, then they're not gonna ask for a discount. Sure, there's gonna be some of those people that are a bit savvy um, that ask for a discount wherever they go, but the price is a price and you've got to hold firm. So they've got the right to ask if someone does ask, and you have the right to say no, because remember discounting does your, your, you and your business a disservice. I say discounting is evil because it creates a lot of problems. So let your competition discount and be cheap. Because let me assure you this, your competition, when you get good in business, and if you educate yourself in business, sales and marketing, all those key areas, they're gonna copy you, they'll see what you're doing, um, they'll see what you're doing, but what they'll do is they'll just try to undercut you, they'll just try to go to discounting because they don't really know, they haven't really educated themselves in business, they don't really know why you're doing it. So it takes no skill, no imagination, no drive, no effort to discount and cheapen your service. And that's really what you're doing, you're just cheapening your service. Those who excel in life are the ones that actually learn more about adding value, about marketing, about how to, how to sell to customers, what customers are really after. That's, that's what takes the hard work and effort. And that's what most people are too lazy and they don't realize what to do. So the easiest option is just a discount. In my opinion, and I've seen it time and time again, it is the easiest and the fastest way to send yourself broke or to work harder when you don't really need to. So that's what you need to consider. The clients you give discounts to, they also may not value your service as much. And hey, why you shouldn't blame them because obviously you don't. Because if you're discounting your service, why should they why should they value it? Well they won't, because you're just you're just telling them that you're gonna you're gonna chop prices off your own service. So I don't know why you expect them to, to value it either. What's the solution to all of this? Well, the solution is add value and be great at delivering your service. So instead of discounting, add value. Show good reasons why you're better than the person down the road. Don't make it about the price. Make it all about the service, the quality of service, and the fact that you're a standout and you're number one in the area. Do a better job at being known for the best. So you know you can be the cheapest or you can be known to be number one or someone who strives to offer a good service. I'm not sure about you, but I'd rather be known as someone who strives to be number one or is the best and not the other way around. I definitely wouldn't want to be known as the cheapest guy. Um, we have some competitors, and they, all they do is they do cheap coaching, they do cheap services. Like, do you really want to be coached by someone who doesn't value their services and they're trying to teach you about how to be the best? That's ridiculous. Like, they're cheap because that's the reason they don't value their service and they don't back themselves. So instead of doing the work, they're cheap. Pretty much what you get for cheap is you get a cheap service. Now, never ever discount. At least wait, like I said, to your you see evidence that's required. And even then, if people are asking for discounts, the chances are you need to be, do a better job of paying the value for your service. Because if people are just getting caught up on the price and wanting less, my assumption is that, that you haven't done a good enough job of showing them why they're gonna invest that money to get the results. Now, I hope that tip's been of use for you. Like, I want you to stay tuned for part two though. And um, this is a total twist, so here's the curiosity part of it. There is a place for discounting, but it's not what you think. So it's, I'm gonna show you when and how do you use discounting. So it helps people to make a buying decision straight away. They feel like they're getting value looked after and uh, you don't lose income. So stay tuned for that. I'm, uh, I'm gonna do that video so they're not too long, um, but they're punchy and you get the information you need. So big tip, stop discounting, start adding value.